Okay, I'm back after a while, and I can finally get 13 galaxy points. I can get 14. It's, it's basically dimension boost, so... Yeah, this, this is... We can finally get these upgrades. Here we go. Um, the, this is galaxies are five times stronger and reduce the cost by tw 20 less except the first and decrease the cost multiplier to 30. And considering how p far I push, that may be really useful. And gain more galaxy points based on total antimatter. So these are the upgrades I'm getting. Unfortunately, this goes back to two times. It's annoying. Normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on your galaxy points. Is this like unspent galaxy points? I'm just looking at these. Dimension boosts are stronger based on your galaxy points. Actually, I think I forgot to say my intro. Hi, Super Sirs here, back with another new game minus minus video, episode three. Yeah, uh, it's the clips in this video in these series are so short, and in the new game minus minus series that I have no idea if I'm starting a new episode or not, so I just assume not, because it's usually not. That I'm, I'm probably confusing you, but... Yeah, I, I need 100 billion, it's better to get the f first dimension shift. And dimension boosts are stronger based on your galaxy points, that could be pretty powerful. Multiplier per 10 dimensions is stronger based on your galaxy points. All those could be really powerful. I just need a lot of galaxy points for that. And then comes Infinity, which is in the main game. So, I, I'm probably, since it's going to be grindy, I'm probably just going to cut some of this out. But, like, once I get one galaxy, I'm probably going to do another clip. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a few days later, like, days, because this is 170 times. And I can get the first galaxy, which are five times stronger. So, yeah, this is 1.075, which is, that's pretty good. That's almost like, that's almost like challenge five. That's probably actually stronger than Challenge 5, which, like, if, if you know the main game, it's, it's like, it basically nerfs the tick speed upgrades. That's what that challenge does. So, that seems pretty good. And then, especially with this multiplier, and then also, yeah, this is just a galaxy point multiplier. And this is, it's going to help the, it's going to reduce the cost. I don't even know what it means, a cost multiplier. It only costs 38 dimensions. And if I get another galaxy, that's gonna be that's gonna be almost that's gonna be almost default value. Like what like it feel it will not feel like I am in Infinity Challenge 3 anymore. I'm still I'm gonna be stuck in dilation. But I'm not gonna feel like I'm I'm stuck in Infinity Challenge 3, which is a lifesaver. And you can see just how, how much faster it is. Like, these first few dimension shifts are not just tolerable, but they're actually, they're relatively fast. I mean, once, until you, the, you get to the eighth dimensions. But even when you get to the eighth dimensions, since the dimension boosts barely scale at all, it, it really doesn't feel like all that much of a grind. I think, I mean, not until you get many dimension boosts. So this is the fourth dimension shift. Getting 28 dimensions is tricky. But besides besides that, I mean, like it, it doesn't even increase. The cost like doesn't even increase for the first two times and then it increases by five. So this basically means the cost, has, like, a cost increases once and then it doesn't increase the next time. So yeah, I, I need undecillion antimatter. I'm not even sure if I, I it's a possibility I could just grind this out, but I, I it's, it's sort of late, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait for tomorrow. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back on New Game Minus Minus a full day later, and yeah, actually, I, I changed my strategy. I was first going to get Dimension Boost, but I can get an entire galaxy at this point. And I, want, I can almost get 40 8th Dimensions. But this is going to give me, well, first it gives me an achievement, Double Galaxy, which is pretty pretty nice to get. And then, but also, um, the tick upgrades are now doing 1.1 times, which is almost the rate of a normal tick upgrade in the base game. Like, if it was like 1.11, that is, I would say, you know, I think, I think like 1. I'm not sure. 
somewhere around 1.11 is a tick upgrade in the in the base game, like without any upgrades. Also, this is a higher multiplier than it was before. This galaxy point thing could be pretty cool. I'm just gonna get these dimension shifts as usual, and yeah, you know, I'm just gonna cut this out because this is this is basically the same thing. It's just slightly faster. Okay, I'm back a few minutes later. I can get a fifth dimension boost. Now I can start seeing how many galaxy points. I can get seven galaxy points immediately. It's pretty insane. And see, this is 28th dimension, which is exactly the same as before. So there's almost no... At, at this point, I'm actually going to um, gonna make it so there's... Um, I think this could be a display bug. No confirmation. There should be a confirmation in this. Um, yeah, there should be a confirmation because I, I don't want to accidentally galactic sacrifice because it takes a while to get back up to here. It, it really does. And also, this it resets this multiplier. And th this is one of the most important multipliers. I'm really not sure what I should be going for. 20, this is based on the galaxy points. So maybe if I do get, I only have one galaxy point. I'm trying to think what this formula is. It's really useful to know the formula. That is definitely a very important thing. So maybe, I'm not sure if it's like a square root formula. Could be more, or I'm, I'm trying to think like it, I don't think it's a square root formula. Like square root of one plus X doesn't seem that way. Maybe it's no, not two times the root. I, I'm really not sure. Maybe it's a logarithm. A logarithm of two is not 1.73 though, so. I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe it... I really have no idea. And this also... These upgrades. Dimension boost is stronger based on your galaxy points. And multiplier per 10 dimensions is stronger based on your galaxy points. This is still 28th dimensions. And then it goes up to 25. So that's why it's really... I can, I can galactic sacrifice for 23 galaxy points. But I think I want to push farther. Because that's going to give me enough for this upgrade and then a little bit more. It gives me a little multiplier, but I, I want... This is 28. I, I'm really not sure. Maybe I can... How this? Is there... I think there's a way, yeah. You can... No, actually, no. I can keep the auto-saving on, but I can export my save. And just see what 28 galaxy points is going to do. So, since I'm just going to export it for good measure, exporting my save, I can galactic sacrifice just to see how powerful this multiplier is. Okay, so that's actually pretty powerful. So, I know I can get more. It was it was 400 before, so I'm, I'm going to go import my save. This is a little, little trick you can do. Um, I've seen other people do it in their games, and it, honestly, is really useful. And this is just a dimensional sacrifice. It's going to take a while. I do want to get a couple more dimension boosts and then galactic sacrifice, because that that's going to really give me a bonus. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, so I, I I just did another little dimension boost. It's gonna take me a while to get to 30. I can get 38 galax galaxy points. I may want a little bit more than that. And I'm just gonna try boosting one more time. So that, that's my strategy. It looks like it's based on the eighth dimensions. That, that's what it looks like. The galactic sacrifice is based on. So, yeah, see in another bit. Okay, I'm back, getting ready to do the next dimension boost. As I get 8th dimensions, I'm getting, I can get more galaxy points, and honestly, I could just go with this 46, I, I, or what, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to dimension shift, or dimension boost, because it's going to be pretty useless, it's going to, it's going to cut down the amount of galaxy points I have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is pretty slow, I didn't, I didn't realize this would be... So I'm going to get 50 galaxy points out of this. Here we go. Actually, I'm having second thoughts. I'm going to export my save, as usual. I'm going to dimension boost because I'm down to 39, but once I just get 20 more 8th dimensions, I'm going to go way beyond 50. You might have been screaming at me for this because I'm... It's interesting. The, the galaxy point formula is a little bit confusing, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get whatever it gives me here. 
so 55. So that's five more galaxy points, just because I thought a little bit better. So this is going to give me an even more massive multiplier than before. This is 550 times multiplier to all dimensions. This is going to make the game go fast. Like, not just not... No, it's not just not 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 so slow that it may, that it makes you rage by how slow it is. This is like fast. So you can see I'm already up to the seventh dimension. I can, and this is with no galaxies. When when I start getting galaxies, this could really increase everything more because I have this 551 times multiplier, but I also have a this multiplier that's going up. It's just constantly increasing. So I'm already back up to 8th dimensions. And this is actually going to be... Dimension boosts are stronger based on your galaxy points. I, I feel like inflation is coming. Because this is going to be... that That's going to basically make one dimension boost have the power of two dimension boosts. And that could be pretty insane. And then multiply per 10 dimensions. That's going to be so OP. It's just going to cause inflation. There's... I, I, I really think that is a, that, that's going to cause inflation. So as I just get these last two things, I can almost get one galaxy. It's, it's crazy how cheap the galaxies are. They're quite cheap. So here we go. Now it's going to be even faster because we have this multiplier at three instead of two. And not only that, but we also have a galaxy, of course, that, that is the more obvious thing. And yeah, this is this is gonna be insane. Just this extra 550 times multiplier to everything, or not to everything, but just to all dimensions. That's really powerful. Even if it's nerfed by dilation, that that's still quite a powerful bonus. And back up to eighth dimensions, I can start dimension shifting or dimension boosting like like it's nothing. I mean, this is still. I mean, not. It's still not instant, but it's a lot faster than it was just because of this. So it seems like that I'm really going to want to get galaxy points. This formula was a lot more powerful than I thought. I thought I would get, with 36 galaxy points, I thought I was going to get like 10. Uh, a 10 times boost to all dimensions, which is okay, but it's nothing like this. So at this point, it's so fast, I can see galaxy point per minute which is just something that was unheard of before. But now, it's, 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 it's possible. Anything is possible in this game. Even with, even with all these nerfs, we are breaking through. It's now two galaxy points per minute. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to get more galaxy points so I can make this multiplier a lot crazier. That's, that's the plan. That is my plan. So I'm just going to be, I'm going to do one more dimension boost and then just set up for the next galaxy and just see where I'm going to be. It's going to be so OP when I get like a hundred times multiplier on this. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay. I'm, I'm back like 15 minutes later. I didn't realize that this video had become a full length episode at this point. So yeah, that I, this is, this is, with the power of New Game Minus Minus, it's almost like the new New Game Plus Plus Plus. Because New Game Plus 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 at this moment is really, really slow. Oh my god. It is the slowest. It, it, this, yeah, I, I don't know. The, the mechanic I'm in right now is just a really slow mechanic. It's taking me, like, like I try to record because I know viewers love that series, but that's giving me. Like, it's giving me one order of magnitude of this resource, and that's it. <laughs> There's an achievement right there. It's this one. Here, your answer matter for second exceed your answer matter for 30 consecutive seconds. That's how fast it is. I'm getting this in new game minus minus. And honestly, I'm just going to go... Um, after I do one more dimension boost, and then get 28th dimensions, I'm going to Galactic Sacrifice one last time, because... That's going to give me 33 galaxy points. And that's going to give me roughly like a 6 times multiplier to everything. So that that's why I am doing that. So yeah, it's time to officially end the episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.
Peace out.